guys welcome back to another nail video so I'm doing my own nails today um, but I'm gonna put the two different colors on each hand I think I'm gonna do the green today and I'm gonna leave the orange as a part two of my other hand so I'll show you them in next week's video okay so the items I'm using I'm gonna use some of Sarah Birchett's nail tips I bought these from her a while ago and I absolutely love them. They are oh, really straight, long nail tips, but I'm not going to have them like gigantic this time. I'm going to have them a normal length. So I got these new brushes from Phoenix Glitter. All through these two nail designs, I'm going to be using the 14 mostly. And then when I want to encapsulate, I'm going to use the number 16. These are the powders and glitters I want to use. This one is called Grass Court. The other one I'm using from Phoenix is uh, Limeade. These two are from Sparkle Supplies UK. This one is Paris and this one is Green Goblin. Now I do want to do a little experiment first. I want to see if this paper, because it's got green and orange in it, and I want to incorporate this paper into the nail design. So I want to see first if putting acrylic acrylic powder on top of it dulls it because I, I really haven't got a clue. I was going to do this anyway, but I thought, well, if people are interested, because this is from Phoenix Glitter, this is like the powders and stuff that she sends stuff in. I'm going to cut some off. And then I'm going to try and clean it. My camera doesn't like this coloured paper, obviously. I don't want to put any product on it because I don't know what it'll do to it. So I'm just rubbing it with a cotton pad. See how that's like silver foil? And then it goes into the this gorge. Oh, anyway, okay. What am I going to do it on? I think I'm just going to cut a little bit off and just, just put acrylic, liquid, uh, acrylic powder on it. So I'm going to get the L&P, let's put that on here. I know it, it will go dull, but I'm just wondering when top coat goes on it, it'll go back to normal. And even if L&P will, that's liquid and powder by the way, will even dry on, on this, I don't know. So now you can't see anything. Look, it's nearly all gone. I'm going to wait for that to dry. I think I'm just going to buff it and then I'm going to put top coat on and see if it goes back to normal. All right, I'm going to get some of Phoenix Glitter's top coat and let's see if this comes back. I think it will. I don't know. I can still see it underneath. Oh, yes. Okay, cool. Oh my God, look at that. It's just perfect. Oh, excellent. Look at that. Okay, so now I know I can incorporate this paper into my nail design. Oh my god, that's so cool. All right, so I'm going to start off by doing what I usually do, do my cuticles, prep and prime, sticking the nails on, and then I'll come back. So just an FYI to the girls who've been asking about this um, purple drill that I reviewed quite a while ago now, I still haven't had to charge it. It is literally like the Energizer battery. It just keeps going and going and going. And I've used it quite a bit because obviously I've been practicing nails and stuff and I've been I've been using this. this. So uh, yeah, really impressed with this purple file. If you haven't seen this and you're interested, I'll leave the link to the video I did 
but it is a, a more expensive file than I, I usually would review. I didn't know how much it was going to be until I got it, but there you go. But at the moment it's well worth the money. Since I'm on the topic of um, things that I've reviewed, this Melody Susie UV lamp, uh, I've been using it so, meant so much and I've had to charge it once. It literally, I put the, put some nails in what I've been doing and I pressed the button and it wouldn't, wouldn't the, the UV lights wouldn't come on. So I, I had a look in there, there was, there was a red flashing light to say I needed to charge it. So I just charged it for four hours and it's as good as new again. Really, really like this Melody Susie UV lamp. Again, if you haven't seen the video to this, I will leave it in the description box if you're interested. All right. Let's see if I can get this thing to cooperate. I'm not quite sure. I don't like if I put a nail in there It's going to cut it that short and I don't want it that short. I want it about that short But you're supposed to be able to do something that your nails are all going to be the same length But I'm not quite sure How that happens Oh, What's going on here? Oh no! What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on, please go on. <sighs> Do you know, sometimes it just, it's, it's just, oh, 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 oh. Oh, it's gone on. Yes. <laughs> right. Do I just pick one then? One number? And that'll do all the nails the same length. Oh, it might. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, we might just have this. Okay. All right. Well, let's give it a go. Oh, it should have a back thing on it, shouldn't it, for catch him? I don't know where that is. All right. Well. Let's carry on. Oh, all right then. Now I know I use it. I really like this. So at least there would be no guessing on my other hand to get them the same length as these. All right, well, these little contraptions that people come out with. I've just got to find the nails now. All right, so I'm just going to blend this tip in with my natural nail and then I'm going to put some of Neo's Dehydrator and Wow Bow's Acid Free Primer and then we can get, get started. So I've decided to put a clear, clear, well, I've decided to put a thin layer of clear acrylic over all of my nail beds and I'm going to do that after I've prepped and put the primer on. Alright, so what I think I'm going to do is do a nail bed, proper nail bed on three of my nails and I think my thumb and ring finger I'm just going to do it like fading down and then the ones I've done the, the proper nail bed on when it's all dry I'm just going to file around it to make a nice sharp smile line.
all right so on my thumb and ring finger i think at the bottom of the nail i'm going to put this so i'm going to get some scissors so i'm just going to cut some off which is going to be wide enough for my thumb i don't know how this is going to look so this is a trial and error and what i think i'm going to do is just get some glue let me get a plastic bag and then I can put it like that and, make, and then I don't get covered in it then. So I'm going to put the glue on my thumbnail so I don't get it all over me. Then I'm going to lay it down. And I'm going to keep it like that for a bit until I know that it's totally stuck on. Alright, well that worked. Just clean it up a little bit. So now I'm going to get the scissors and cut off what I don't need. Alright, so what I think I'm going to do now is get the Paris and just dot that just above the paper there I've just done and blend, try and blend the little glitter up the nail towards the cuticle area. And then once I'm happy with that, then I'm going to encapsulate my thumb. I'm going to do something similar with my ring finger, but I'm going to put some like glitter around it. I've got an idea that's in my head, I've just got to try and make it happen on the nail. Before I do my ring finger, I'm just going to do the other nails. Now, I'm going to use the grass coat mainly, because it's a gorgeous colour. And then I think I'm going to use the different glitters on each of the other three nails at the bottom of the nail like fading up into the grass coat see what that looks like I don't think I've had nails this bright for a very long time So just to clean the smile line up, I'm just going to get my electric drill and just go over the nail bed area and then because I filed it before, fingers crossed it should come out looking pretty good. No my luck it won't. <laughs>
All right, so I've just filed them and buffed them, and then I'm gonna get some, um, what do you call it? You call it a uh, 100% acetone. Get there in the end. And now I'm just gonna make sure all the, the dust is off before I top coat. Or do I top coat? I don't know what else I can maybe do to them. I just wanted something bright and summery because it's horrible outside. <laughs> so I might put one of these on. This one was in that collaboration with Femi Beauty and Macart. <laughs> I know a lot of you have told me off a number of times for saying Macart wrong. I was saying Markart. All right, so I think I might use that one. See how pretty, oh my god, that's so pretty. And then the bottom will just dangle, as if my hair doesn't rip it out. But yeah, I think I'll go for that one. And I might try and incorporate the other one, because there's like two each on my other end. But I think I've changed my mind with, with the other end. Instead of doing orange, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of doing yellow. This is the best mini lamp I've ever used. So I'm just gonna plug it in and then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with it. Because when you're doing your own nail art and stuff, it's not that easy to try and do it yourself. So I'm gonna get two boxes like this. I'm gonna stand that on there. I know you won't be able to see anything, but there's not a lot I can do about that. And when I've I've got it on with the tweezers, I'm gonna turn that on so I've got enough room under the lamp to get under there. Because you just push the top. I love this lamp. Best, best thing since sliced bread. So all I'm gonna do with this is put a little dab on. Oh, and put top coat on. I am going to get Phoenix Glitter's No Wipe Top Coat. Put a nice layer of this on, cure for 60 seconds, then I'll be back to put the gem thing on. So I've got the gems glue, I'm going to just pop a little bit where I want the top part to go, like so. Let's try and do this. <laughs> oh. Come on Nick, you can do it. Okay, okay, nobody move, nobody move. Nobody move. Okay, okay, just stay there, it's okay. You're gonna be fine. <laughs> right, I'm just gonna point over the top and hope that it stays. All right, I did that for the full 60 seconds. Hey, that's totally on there now. Oh my God, I love that. That is so cute, oh my God, look at that. It's pretty, okay. I don't think it needs anything else, so I'm just going to put some cuticle on and then let's have a look at this thumbnail. Okay, so I'm going to use this cuticle oil from Phoenix Glitter and it is peach cuticle oil. It is really nice, this one is. So I'm just going to stick this on all my nails and then we can have a look at this thumbnail especially because I don't know whether I like it or not. It's staying where it is because I've been at these nails long enough. I've only done five. Tomorrow I'll be getting my other hand done, so you'll see that next week. All right, let's uh, see if, well, it sort of does, but it mainly looks silver. It 
does work in certain lights, but it's mainly silver. Oh well, it's worth a try, you know, if you don't pra practice. If you don't try these things, then you don't know, do you? See, it looks gorgeous on there, but, but I think that's because there's a lot of them. On my thumb, there's not really a lot, so it just looks silver. Before I do the next video, I might just file all this off and do uh, something else on it. I don't know, because as I say, it doesn't really go with everything else I've done. So, any hoodles. Uh, these are now finished. I just fancied some, as I said, nice bright nails and uh, they, they are that. They are very green. But I really do hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I will try and look, well, it's mainly uh, Phoenix Glitter stuff anyway. And their link is always in my description box if you want to go check them out. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye, guys. Hold up. Wait a minute. I put this on the end of here because like I might as well change my thumb anyway. So if anybody's interested to see what I did do with my thumb, then just keep watching. No, God, please, no, no, no. <clears throat> Okay, so obviously I've just made myself more work there, but I'm not going to take the nail off. I'm going to show you how I'll mend it. Honestly, there's always some. It. All right. <clears throat> so I've got some, uh, what are these? These are nail forms. Yes, nail forms. Uh, these are off Nao, I think. You can get nail forms off eBay anywhere, really. Uh, oh, I need some scissors. These are just a little bit too short, so I have to just uh, clip some off, just so it fits around my thumb. Okay, I haven't used I haven't used nail forms for ages. So I'm going to put that on the bottom. This is turning into something else. I'm just going to give it a jiggle, which I should have done before, but never mind. All right, so I'm just going to. Do that. Like that, so there's no gap in between. And then I'm just gonna get the clear and just f fill in the V. So I'm gonna get a ball of acrylic and I'm gonna just dry out the back of the brush so it's not so sloppy. And then I'm just going to build the nail back up. That's all it needs, really. And that's it. And then when the nail is dry, I'll take this off and then I can carry on with what I was gonna do. So I filed the um, nail bed down because I asked my husband what I should do. And he, should, he said, you should put the green color all over the nail. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And uh, try my best to get a good apex. And it should come out really bright and green. Okay, so I might be scrapping this idea, I don't know yet. <clears throat> so I've just filed and buffed the nail. I'm thinking of doing a little bit of abstract work on my thumb. So I have got uh, Madame Glam's Perfect White, Perfect Black, and this is one's called Mother Nature. And I've picked this one because it's quite a bit darker than the green I'm using. So I'm gonna pour a blob of each on this silver foil. If I don't like the outcome, I'll just use some acetone gate off. So I'm going to be using one of these Madame Glam brushes. This is their long fine liner. And I'm literally gonna use the white first and then I'm gonna cure that. Then I'm gonna put the green on after. And then if, if I need a little bit of black, then I'll do a little bit of black. can't really see at all 
that green so I'm gonna tr see if I've got a darker green I found this one which is called per oh, well, perfect uh, green and that is quite a bit darker so let's give that one a go 